Welcome to Science Compass, where we navigate the realms of discovery and delve into the lives of remarkable minds who have shaped our understanding of the world. In today's biographical journey, we set our compass towards the life and legacy of Thomas Young, a British polymath whose intellectual brilliance illuminated the fields of optics, medicine, linguistics, and Egyptology. From his groundbreaking work on the wave properties of light to his pioneering insights into color vision, Young's insatiable curiosity and multidisciplinary approach continue to inspire generations of scientists. Join us as we uncover the remarkable story of Thomas Young, a true trailblazer in the pursuit of knowledge. Thomas Young stands as a pivotal figure in the annals of science, renowned for his multifaceted brilliance as a British polymath. His groundbreaking work on the wave properties of light stands as a cornerstone in the field of optics. Beyond his illuminating insights into light, Young's intellectual pursuits span a vast array of disciplines, leaving an indelible mark on physics, medicine, and linguistics. One of Young's most notable achievements was his deciphering of Egyptian inscriptions on the Rosetta Stone, a feat that opened doors to the understanding of ancient languages and civilizations. His mind, astute and inquisitive, delved into the mysteries of eyesight, language, and the natural world, enriching our collective knowledge immeasurably. Young's contributions to the Encyclopedia Britannica added layers of depth and breadth to the repository of human understanding. However, it is a somber truth that his genius was not fully recognized in his time. Many of his discoveries, which later proved to be seminal, awaited recognition until after his passing. In the tapestry of scientific history, Thomas Young emerges not only as a luminary in his own right but also as a testament to the often unheralded nature of pioneering intellects. His legacy serves as an enduring reminder of the profound impact of those who dare to explore the boundaries of knowledge, enriching humanity's understanding of the universe itself. Early Life and Education Thomas Young was born into a Quaker family in Milverton, Somerset, England on June 13, 1773, as the youngest of ten children to Thomas Young, Sr. and Sarah Davis. His precocious intellect was evident from a young age, reportedly learning to read at two years old under the guidance of his maternal grandfather. At the age of six, he commenced his formal education in Bristol, and by eight, he developed a keen interest in surveying, learning the craft from a neighbor. From ages nine to fourteen, Young attended a school in Compton, Dorsetshire, where he honed his mastery of Greek and Latin. Impressively, he acquainted himself with a multitude of languages including French, Italian, Hebrew, Chaldean, Syriac, Samaritan, Arabic, Persian, Turkish, and Amharic, Singh 2000. Even in his youth, Young was a staunch opponent of the enslavement of Africans, choosing not to consume sugar produced under conditions of slavery. During his time at Compton, Young was inspired by the achievements of others, believing in the potential of every individual. For instance, in equestrian sports, he initially struggled to clear an obstacle that another rider effortlessly conquered. However, through persistence and determination, Young eventually succeeded on his third attempt, embodying his belief in overcoming challenges through tenacity. His fascination with biology led him to construct his own microscope to examine plant structures closely. To comprehend the intricacies of this instrument, he delved into advanced mathematics, teaching himself in the process. After leaving Compton, he continued his studies under a private tutor in Youngsbury, excelling particularly in classical Greek literature. Despite opportunities for a career in public administration presented to him by the British aristocracy, Young declined, opting to pursue his intellectual passions. Academic and Professional Career Young embarked on his medical studies at the Hunterian School of Anatomy in London in 1792, later moving to Edinburgh in 1794. In the same year, his paper on the eye's focusing mechanism earned him membership in the prestigious Royal Society of London. Continuing his academic journey, he studied in Göttingen in 1795, where he obtained a doctorate in physics. 
Subsequently, in 1797, Young enrolled at Emmanuel College, Cambridge, preparing for entry into the College of Physicians in London. This period also marked his inheritance of his granduncle Richard Brocklesby's estate in 1797, which granted him financial independence. By 1799, he had established himself as a physician at 48, Welbeck Street, London, a location now commemorated with a blue plaque. Young initially published many of his scholarly articles anonymously to safeguard his reputation as a physician. However, due to his meticulous intellect and concerns about providing proper medical care, he limited his medical practice. The Latin initials he used to mask his name in publications were reportedly recognized among his acquaintances, and he eventually ceased this practice. In 1801, Young assumed the role of professor of natural philosophy, predominantly focused on physics, at the Royal Institution. Over the next two years, he delivered 91 lectures, captivating audiences with his innovative ideas. His scholarly prowess was further recognized in 1802 when he was appointed as the Foreign Secretary of the Royal Society. Despite his success in academia, Young resigned from his professorship in 1803, apprehensive that its demands might impede his medical practice. His lectures were later compiled and published in 1807 as the Course of Lectures on Natural Philosophy, containing numerous insights that foreshadowed future scientific theories. On June 14, 1804, Young married Eliza Maxwell, a woman of intellect who provided unwavering support for his work. Despite their union not yielding children, Young found familial connection and inspiration through his involvement in the lives of his wife's sisters, with whom he corresponded regularly. Young's intellectual pursuits were varied and impactful. In 1811, he became the physician to St. George's Hospital, and in 1814, he served on a committee focused on the safety implications of gas introduction in London. His roles expanded in 1816 when he became the secretary of a commission tasked with determining the length of the seconds pendulum. Furthermore, in 1818, he assumed the position of secretary to the Board of Longitude and superintendent of the HM Nautical Almanac office. This position involved editing the Nautical Almanac, a task that later drew controversy regarding its composition and accuracy. Despite his achievements, Young encountered professional setbacks, feeling he fell short of his medical responsibilities. As demand for his medical services waned, he explored other avenues of income. In his later years, he ventured into the field of life assurance and in 1827, he was honored as one of the eight foreign associates of the French Academy of Sciences. Young's curiosity extended beyond the bounds of traditional science. Towards the end of his life, he dedicated his leisure time to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphics, working on a dictionary of hieroglyphics until his passing. Legacy and Passing Thomas Young's life was characterized by intellectual vigor and unwavering dedication to expanding the boundaries of knowledge. Despite facing challenges and some professional disappointments, his legacy endures as a testament to the power of curiosity and perseverance. On May 10, 1829, Thomas Young passed away in London due to an aortic blockage, leaving behind a rich legacy of scientific inquiry and linguistic exploration. His contributions to optics, medicine, linguistics, and mathematics continue to inspire generations of scholars, highlighting the profound impact of a polymath whose insatiable curiosity illuminated the world around him. Contributions to Science Thomas Young's contributions to science are vast and multifaceted, spanning fields from optics to linguistics, physics, medicine, and more. His investigations into eyesight and color perception revealed groundbreaking insights. Young's studies on eyesight elucidated the role of muscles in the eye's ability to focus images, while his theory of color vision, proposing three types of receptors for the primary colors, laid the foundation for future research, later confirmed in the 20th century. In the realm of light, Young's seminal work on the wave theory was initially met with skepticism. 
However, his experiments, such as the famous double slit experiment, demonstrated the wave nature of light and explained phenomena like interference patterns. Despite initial disregard, his work eventually gained recognition, particularly after August and Jean Fresnel's similar findings in 1815. Young's scientific interests extended beyond optics. He developed Young's modulus, a measure of material elasticity still used in engineering today. In medicine, he contributed to hemodynamics with his Croonian lecture on the functions of the heart and arteries and wrote on medical literature and consumptive diseases. Linguistics also captured Young's attention. He categorized languages into families, including the monosyllabic, Indo-European, Tataric, African, and American. His comparative analysis of words across languages aimed to trace language evolution. Young's work on Egyptian hieroglyphs was pivotal, spurred by the discovery of the Rosetta Stone. He built on earlier scholarship to translate the Rosetta Stone's demotic text and contributed to the decipherment of hieroglyphs. Although initially overshadowed by Jean-Francois Champollion, Young's work laid the groundwork for understanding ancient Egyptian scripts. Additionally, Young's contributions to the Encyclopedia Britannica were substantial. Despite initial frustrations, he wrote over 60 articles, covering diverse topics such as music, fluid mechanics, and biographies. His meticulous biographies, including those of Henry Cavendish and Joseph Louis Lagrange, highlighted their significant contributions to science. In summary, Thomas Young's legacy is one of immense intellectual curiosity and groundbreaking contributions to numerous fields. From optics to linguistics, medicine to physics, his work continues to shape our understanding of the world today. Despite the challenges and initial lack of recognition, Young's ideas have stood the test of time, enriching the fabric of scientific knowledge for generations to come. Legacy Thomas Young's enduring legacy is deeply rooted in his profound contributions to the understanding of light. His pivotal work in elucidating light's wave properties laid the groundwork for a revolution in optics. Young's meticulous experiments and keen observations allowed him to characterize light's behavior in a way that was unprecedented. He introduced the term interference to describe how light waves either amplified or diminished each other's intensity, a concept that was groundbreaking and paved the way for future discoveries. Young's insights into color vision were remarkably ahead of his time. His theory proposing three types of receptors in the eye, each sensitive to one of the primary colors, was a fundamental step in understanding how we perceive color. This theory, although not fully appreciated in his time, became the foundation for subsequent investigations by scientists like Hermann von Helmholtz and James Clerk Maxwell, who later produced the first color photograph based on these principles. In his pursuit of deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, Young displayed an unwavering dedication to understanding ancient languages. While he was ultimately outpaced by Champollion, Young's efforts were not in vain. His work laid essential groundwork for the eventual decipherment of hieroglyphs, and his early attempts provided valuable insights into the complexities of ancient Egyptian writing. Young's diverse interests and wide-ranging intellect were both a blessing and a challenge. His legacy is not defined by any singular discovery but rather by the breadth of his inquiries across various disciplines. Financially independent for much of his life, Young was able to explore topics that piqued his curiosity without constraint. This freedom allowed him to delve into fields such as physics, medicine, languages, and Egyptology, leaving a mark in each. Despite his significant contributions, Young did not receive the recognition he felt he deserved during his lifetime. He expressed disappointment in the limited acknowledgement of his work, particularly in his own country. Nevertheless, subsequent scholars and scientists have come to appreciate and admire Young's intellectual prowess. Sir John Herschel hailed him as a truly original genius, recognizing the depth of Young's contributions to science. Albert Einstein himself praised Young's work, acknowledging its importance in the development of our understanding of light. 
In the annals of scientific history, Young's legacy endures as that of a visionary thinker whose insatiable curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge pushed the boundaries of human understanding. His impact on optics, color theory, language studies, and Egyptology continues to reverberate through the work of those who came after him. Young's life serves as a testament to the power of intellect and the unyielding spirit of exploration that drives scientific progress.